Today is November 17th. It's Saturday night. Um, taking a look at the bioponics system. Uh, as you can see, a lot more things have grown. Uh, let me just come over here and show you what we've got. Uh, this is some cress, watercress. <clears throat> nice thing about it is it grows great in bioponic or hydroponic systems. Loves water and it grows fantastically fast. Um, this looks like it's um, some kind of Chinese broccoli and uh, I'm not sure exactly how it's going to taste or do yet. Um, here we've got some lettuces, um, not sure exactly the variety, and these small little guys, let me move this out of the way, these small little guys are what's called walking onions, or Chinese, um, or, um, Egyptian onions, and these guys are some, also some type of, uh, onion, or, I'm not really sure. Here we've got some small little cucumbers, and, of course, my basil plant, which uh, I took from outside, it's, uh, recovering well. If you can look under here, you can see some uh, peppers, regular bell peppers. And this, I believe, is an eggplant of some sort. And you can see it's flowering. There's a few flowers on it. Here's my pride and joy, my chili pepper plant. It's got, I think I counted 14 peppers on it. Um, I already harvested one. Delicious flavor. Here we've got some um, different sprouts of, uh, I forgot which ones these are. Oh yes, they're dill. That's right. These are all dill. <clears throat> and if we could peek through here, that tall one, that tall uh, pot, has uh, different types of carrots, um, yeah, bugs, and different uh, colored uh, carrots. And throughout here, we've got a few other things that I'm, I'm growing, as well as you can see the tomato plant with a uh, nice amount of tomatoes on here. These are plum tomatoes. And I just planted some uh, soy chum, if I'm not mistaken the name. So everything just looks like it's doing pretty well. Um, I have to put a fan in here to get some air circulating. But other than that, it's doing fantastic. I just added about 15 gallons to the reservoir. Uh, and uh, it was a little low today, so I added about 15 gallons of just water. And then I tested the system to see what the um, pH and everything else is. So let's take a look. So this, this is the pH. Um, and let's just see if we can take a look at the color. And it looks like it's somewhere basically at 6.5. It's uh, the color of the vial, I'm not sure if you see it right, is a little green, but it's mostly yellow with a greenish tint. It's hard to see it in the in the light, but which tells me it's roughly around anywhere from 6 to 6.5. So that's good. That's right where we need it to be. That is beautiful. Okay, the ammonia. Hopefully it had enough time to sit. Let's put this like this. The ammonia levels, if I could just show you, looks like it is roughly, it looks like it's dark green. I would say, if we had to take a look, I would say it's about at one or two. So one or two parts per million, which um, is good. That means there's not a lot of ammonia in there. And let's take a look at the nitrates. I don't bother doing nitrites because uh, nitrites, if there's nitrates, it means there's nitri nitrites. So what I'm looking at here is, it looks like it is roughly anywhere between 20 and 40. It's not pink. Um, eh, I would say probably closer to 20. So it looks like it's time to, since the ammonia level is low, it's time to add some more. So what I wanted to do is let the ammonia go down to zero and then um, before adding more uh, um, aged urine, but I might just add some tonight. I just want to be able to test and see what the uh, effect of of adding a specific amount would do so I can get a, a, a real calculated um, amount of urine to add e every day or every week or whatever just so that I know exactly how much to add throughout the growing season. Just wanted to take a quick look around here. As you can see, things are growing very nicely.
and everything's nice and green and lush. Some of the plants that I got are, that are looking not so well are ones that I got outside, and they're recuperating from the shock of moving and, and you know, the change in sunlight, temperature, and everything. So I hope to have a lot more um, growing next week when I take another video. Thanks for watching.